This video is all about humidity and temperature monitoring using DST11 with Node MCU. So you can monitor temperature and humidity over the internet using Node MCU and DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. So ThingSpeak is the platform that is used to display temperature as well as humidity. The graph will be displayed as well as the number will be displayed. So let's get started. So for this we need following components that is Node MCU ESP 8266 2LE board DST11 humidity and temperature sensor we need a breadboard and finally we need some connecting wires or jumper wires so this is DST11 humidity and temperature sensor with three pins that is VCC pin, ground pin and digital output pin that is data pin when you break the connection you will see the pins like this there are four pins and out of them the pin number three is useless so this is connection diagram of DST11 with node MCU we have connected ground pin to ground VCC pin to VIN pin and data pin to GPIO0 pin that is D3 pin of node MCU so this is node MCU and DST11 instead of DST11 you can use DST22 as well so now we'll connect this so finally we have connected now we'll connect this with computer now open your Arduino IDE for programming so this is the programming DST dot H is the library you can get this library from the link and here you need to enter your API key that is the API key from thingspeak so go to thingspeak.com and here you need to sign in if you haven't signed in then please click on sign up and create an ID over here I have already created so click on channel now click on new channel now you need to create here a channel so I will be naming the channel as humidity and temperature monitoring enter temperature and humidity on field 1 and field 2 now save this channel so you will see the two charts so rename this chart the first one is renaming as temperature and I will be renaming the second one as humidity now click on add widgets to make it more beautiful so click on numeric value and for first click on temperature and create now create another widgets same process enter humidity select field 2 and create so the widget has been created successfully now go to api skis you need to copy the api key from here that is right api key please copy it and open your arduino id and paste it over here now write the name of your wi-fi network that is wi-fi ssid network for example mine is how to electronics and enter your wi-fi password for example my password is al habibi the DST pin 0 is connected to GPIO 0 pin if you are using DST 22 please rename it as DST 22 this is the baud rate for displaying on serial monitor so the programming is very simple this is just the basic of node MCU now compile the code and upload it so compiling has been done now it's uploading so you can see 25%, 51%, 77% completed and now 100% is completed. Now after the programming is done, click on serial monitor. So you will see the temperature and humidity both are displayed that is temperature in degree Celsius and humidity in percentage. Now open thing is pick and your channel click on private key that is private view 
you will see the temperature and humidity graph as well as temperature and humidity on number the same thing is displayed on serial monitor and the same graph and numeric value is displayed on thing speak server and the data is uploaded after 15 seconds only so you need to wait 15 seconds for update here I have increased the video speed so data is uploaded in just one or two seconds thanks for watching for more visit my official website www.howtoelectronics.com